Well, it's not just teachers who are concerned about the lack of guidance here. Some state lawmakers with an education background are looking for more information as well. We are joined now by State Representative Molly Donahue, a teacher herself in eastern Iowa. And Representative, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. As you look at the guidance, or I guess some people would say lack of guidance uh, that was put out by the state, what, what are the things that jump out to you about the State Department of Education's reopening plan that concerns you? Exactly what you said. It's the lack of guidance. Um, they really have left out all of the important things that are necessary to keep our students and our staff safe. And when you look at that, I guess I go back as an educator, obviously I want my kids to be safe. I want my coworkers to be safe. But more importantly, we have to get the schools open and we have to keep them open because it is our, our economy is dependent upon it. So if we don't do this the right way the first time, it's going to hurt the economy. All right. And what, what are your thoughts on how we arrived at this guidance from the state? There are some who have said, um, where was the big discussion about this to sort, arri to sort of arrive at some guidance? Uh, was there a task force? Do you feel like there was enough input before these, this guidance was put out? I can tell you that, well, first off, I don't know who was in the task force, if there was a task force. What I can tell you is that if there was a task force with teachers and members of the union, that there would be more guidance, or at least hopefully they would have listened to that guidance and used some of that. Um, it looks to me that, that in the recent, uh, well, actually since Friday, there has been a little bit of a turnaround from the Department of Ed because of some pushback from ISEA and all of the members. Um, they've been working hard and trying to make sure that we keep our kids and our staff safe so we can keep the schools open. And they've backed them down from not recommending masks to not requiring masks. Now that seems pretty minuscule, but it's a start. And I know that they are not finished in trying to push for more guidance. Yeah. So when uh, the guidance was released, it did kind of hit with a thud. Uh, you know, we heard from the State Education Association, the Teachers Union, and a lot of uh, school district officials that, that said immediately that they were gonna have to kind of come up with their own plan. Were you surprised by that reaction? Um, absolutely not, because I know that at the heart of things, people in education want what's best for our kids. They want what's best for their staff. So you have to have healthy staff to, to open the schools. And uh, if we can't get the teachers into the buildings, which, by the way, are, you know, the third of the staffs in, in Iowa are above 50, which puts a lot of us at risk for catching COVID. And uh, we need to be cognizant of that so that when we go back, we have those safety measures in place so we can keep our staff in there. Our students aren't going to learn if they don't have teachers. Yep. Well, it sounds like even there's, a, although there's only a couple of months left before school starts again. It sounds like there's a lot of conversation that's still going to happen between now and then about what the state uh, is exactly going to do. Representative Molly Donahue, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you.